Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about invocation of a BIP report using SOAP UI as well as Python using a web service. So we'll try to understand what is a BI report and what are the parameters to it and how do we invoke the BI report using SOAP UI as well as how do we invoke the BI report using the Python. So the BI report which we want to discuss today, like uh, this report, this is a data model, it is based on a GL ledger table. It is having two columns, name, comma, ledger ID, and the parameter is p underscore ledger underscore name. And the parameter is not mandatory. If we pass ledger name, we'll get the data of that particular ledger. If we don't pass a ledger, it'll get it'll try to fetch all the ledgers which are there in the instance. And to invoke the BI report using web service, Oracle provided a web service called report service. In that report service, we have a method called run report. So run report is a method which takes the BI report input, nothing but the XDO file in path, as well as username, password, as well as parameters, and it provides the output. And now, using the tool SOAP UI, which is a free API testing tool, which you can download from soapia.org, and we just need to pass this particular set of parameters here, if you observe. We just need to pass like a, the parameter name, P ledger name, and the value, and similarly, we have to pass a couple of couple of you know like uh, some appropriate values like appropriate format we want to pass it as csv and flight and xml is false false and report absolute path mention the path of the report and then you can also mention like uh, a predefined value called size of data chunk download which is a minus one and user id password and we'll get the output in a base 64 format we'll not get the data in a direct format the way which you mentioned in the report but by default it will provide you the data in a base 64 format so we have to convert that into appropriate format Okay, and similar one. So like this is using, we will test it using SOAP and similarly, like using a Python, what we, what like we'll try to invoke the same report, same uh, report using the web service and, but using a Python. So for Python, we just need to use a software like a Python version 3, 3, and you can download from this particular website. And very important thing is you require a request as well as base 64 library for this particular one. The two scripts we'll discuss today one is invoke report.python, other one is a read base64xml.python. The first one is for the purpose of invoking the BI report and using which we'll download the base64 data. And using the second Python script, we'll convert the base64 data to text format. Okay, so now let's get into the report. So now this is a report. So here you can observe that path of this particular report. Let us say if I don't pass any value, we should be able to get all the data. And if you pass any of the data, let us say if I pass maybe a US primary ledger, we'll get the data of this particular ledger. Now, this is the Oracle documentation for the report web service. You can observe this particular URL, report service, V2, we generally call it as V2 report service. And the visual path of this one is like a fusion application instance followed by XMLP service, XMLP server services, V2 slash report service visual. Now what we have to do, you just need to copy this particular visual and you have to prepare, you have to prepare the visual according to this particular path. So now in our case, what is a fusion instance? In our case, this is our fusion instance. So I'll just see. I'll just replace this. These are fusion instance and we just need to copy the information after this like this. Now this is a visual which we have to use it. And now what we do is I'll close the existing particular SOAP UI which I already opened and I'll just close this. Open the SOAP UI so that we'll understand how do we invoke a web service using SOAP UI. So first of all we have to prepare the visual and then open the SOAP UI. Click on the SOAP project. Click on the SOAP project. Mention the mention the project name and here you mention the visual. Click on OK. It will load the visual definition into your local system and then you have to find out the method which you want to run it. So in our case, we want to run a method called run report and you have to click this one request. This is a method which you want to invoke. So by default, it may show lot number of parameters in our case, which we don't want to in use all those particular parameters. So I'll try to use the existing predefined like uh, which I, the payload which I already prepared. So I'll just copy this one. Okay, and I'll just place here. And here if you observe, what are the things I'm passing here is like uh, this one you can ignore the flattened XML. List of parameter name values, we are passing the parameter name like a ledger name. 
and the value is US IFRS secondary ledger. If you don't pass it, we'll get all the data. And now report absolute path. We just need to pass the, the path of the report and the username password. And just run it. We should be able to get the data. Now we can see that first of all, you can just click on this raw and you can see the status is okay. By this, you can understand, okay, the report executed successfully. And you can just see here, and it, it is providing the content in this particular path. Like uh, I'll copy this one. This is my response. So here, if you observe, this is the XML generator, right? So now here, let me re-execute once. Yeah. Okay. So this is XML, which it generated. And now what we can do, you can just copy this particular one. If you want to validate what is the output it provided, there are a lot number of base 64 encoders online. You can just use it and paste the content here. And you can just decode, we should just be able to see the data here. So it provided the data in the HTML format. And if at all, if you want to have it in the CSV format, what we have to do? So here, if you observe, Attribute format, we have to pass CSV. So if you pass CSV, so here I'll just pass attribute format as CSV. Then we'll get the data in a CSV format. You just make sure that the tag you have to mention properly. Attribute format. Now I'll try, let's copy this. And here you can see, observe here, report content type text slash plain. And by default, it would have generated like text slash HTML, right? That's the reason it was HTML content. Now I'll try to just copy this particular data and we should be able to see the actual text content. Click on decode and one minute. Yeah, decode. Okay, now this is a plain text format or a CSV format I can say. So now what we have done is we just saw, we got the web service from the like Oracle documentation and we have just invoked that particular web service via Sophia tool. Now we'll try to invoke the same particular visual using Python. So let me open the Python script. And the process is same. Like here, if you observe, this is a URL of the visitor. And I provided the username credentials and the text headers, like what is the content type I'm expecting. And the payload here, if you observe, the same payload which you have used for SOAP PA, I just copy pasted. Of course, like here, I'm just trying to pass the username password dynamically, but you can still hard code it. And everything is same. And then what, what I'm doing is like uh, using the re request library, request.post, and I just need to pass the website like a Fusion ERP URL, the visual URL, and the content of this particular SOAP query request and the headers. Like here, if you observe, we just need to mention what is a, like a, when you're trying to invoke via Python, you have to mention the content type header information, and that's it. So line number 42, this is a place where our Python script gets executed. Nothing but it's a place where the Python invokes the web service and you'll get the response and that will get stored in the response variable. And here, using this particular variable, st, we are trying to read the response vari response content, and then at line 44, we are printing it. And then line 45, what are we doing is we are trying to write, like I'm just opening a new file called output.xml, and we are decoding the, decoding the data which we got it, and then writing the string to the XML file. So let me open the XML file, first of all. As of now, there is no file at all here, right? So now what I'll do is I'll try to invoke this particular script now. Let me come out of this one. Yeah. So here I have this particular Python script, right? So I'll just mention Python and then followed by invoke. Invoke a report.py. So now it is connecting and we got the response. And we can just open the output.xml now. It generated. And it's a base64 data, which is a text a plain content. And then what we want to do is like, we don't want to we like, uh, of course it generated the base 64, but I just want the actual content of the report. So what I can do is, so we have one more Python script, which is using a base 64 library. It reads the XML data 
and then it is reading line by line. And here, if you observe in the response.xml, in the response.xml, the actual content of the report lies between the lies between this particular XML tag that is called report bytes. So now using this particular logic, what we're trying to do is we are just trying to read the content between the reports byte, and then we are performing a decoding using the API base64, base64 dot b64 decode method. And what are we doing? We are getting the decoded content of the base64. And then what are we doing? We are trying to print that particular content to a new file called output new dot text. So right now here, if you observe, we don't have any file called output new dot text. Okay. So now we'll just run this particular new Python script, Python read base64 XML dot py. And now we can see the content here, right? And we can see the output new dot text also. And similarly, now what I'll do is let us say I don't want to pass any parameter. I'll just simply pass dummy value or null value. I mean to say I don't want to pass anything here for this ledger name, nothing but it will pass null here. So now let us try to invoke the Python script again, and we should be able to see all the data now. Python invoke report.py. We got the larger content now, and we can see the output.xml also. Just reload. We got the very larger data. And now what we do, we'll try to run the new script Python read base64xml.py. Let us see. And you can see the output new.txt. We should be able to see all the ledgers here. Okay. So what all we have done is we have just observed what is the BI report and how do we invoke, like what is the web service we have to use it and how do we invoke that particular web service via SOAP UI and also we have seen how do we invoke the same uh, BI report service using Python script. Okay, thank you.